Hey everyone, it's Sam and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a full face with drugstore products. I ended up having everything drugstore except for my eyeshadow, which I came up with everything drugstore. It's just I didn't have an eyeshadow palette to use during the video, but I kind of improvised and used what I had, I guess. And I ended up just using drugstore products, not brushes as well, just because I don't have enough drugstore brushes, I don't think. Yeah, because I, I usually mostly Morphe, but anyways, so yes, if you want to see how I came up with this look using only drugstore products, then just keep watching. Alright, so now that I have all of my drugstore makeup in front of me, I realize that I don't have a drugstore eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm just going to create a look using like a bronzer, blush, and highlight or something because I, I don't have anything. So, so I'm just going to start off with primer. Um, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I'm going to just kind of put this everywhere. Not too much in the T-zone just because I'm going to put a different primer there. But the foundation I'm going with is super drying so I figured I'd go in with a little bit more of a luminous primer. I don't really use this as a primer too much. I usually use this um, like on top of foundation just for like a little bit of highlight. That's what I like to use it for. But anyway, so for foundation, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay um, full coverage foundation. And this is in shade 102. And I think depending on how light this is, I might mix it with shade 120. So, which yes, these are very drying and full coverage foundations. I haven't really been a huge fan of them but for the sake of this video I'll use it I used to have so many drugstore eyeshadow palettes but I got rid of a lot of makeup when I moved to Bismarck I was like I don't ever use those I'm just gonna get rid of them and now I kind of wish I kept at least one <laughs> I guess this matches pretty well it doesn't look as gross on me right now as I remember it looking the first time I tried this foundation But it could be the primer I'm using. Oh, I forgot to use that other primer. Shoot. I was going to use the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Just kind of like on my nose and stuff. Well, it's too late for that. Okay, so I bought a new camera. Because before I was just using my iPhone. And right now I'm using my iPhone. Because I was going to use the camera. And then it dawned on me. I'm like, duh. Like I need a microphone. Because the audio on a camera isn't that great. I mean, certain ones maybe, yes, but I kind of started off with, like, a cheaper one. Um, so I'm like, crap, I need to get an iPhone or a mic. So after I get order one from Amazon, I will be using a new camera. And I have gotten new backdrops, so let me know what you think of this one. I have a couple more that I want to test out, so. I've been so sick the past, like, week or two, and so, like, around my nose is just, like, so red and dry. It, it's been disgusting. So every time I put makeup on, I'm like, this is pointless because I'm just going to rub it off with a Kleenex later on. Alright, for concealer, I'm just going to use my Makeup Revolution 1 in the shade C2. And I I don't mind this primer. I feel like people were saying it was a dupe to Tarte Shape Tape. And I don't really think so that much because this one doesn't have as much coverage as the sh Tarte Shape Tape. I think it's just kind of like the the applicator that looks like it and I don't know I don't think it's the same but ew this foundation is disgusting actually people were saying such good things about it so I like like went out and bought it and then I used it the first time I'm like okay I don't like this at all <laughs> oh and I'm even using a drugstore beauty blender because I was going to use my um microfiber one because I've been like really liking that it doesn't soak up as much product and it's just like a lot softer not like squishier but just like softer I don't know but I've been using that and loving it but I figured I'd use this for the video and I ordered those sponges the blue ones from Juno and Co I think it's called yeah so if you're interested I can put that in the description for you so I'm just going to take like a little brush and I always have to like go around my nose ring a little bit because I hate when it's like on my nose ring so I just kind of like cover the redness around it if that makes sense. 
So now I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 10 Fair Light. And then I'm going to take that on my Beauty Blender and just kind of bake a little bit. But I don't like to use my microfiber sponge to do this because I feel like it really gets caked into the sponge. Like it really picks up the product, like the powder. So I only use these to bake. Comment down below what your favorite drugstore foundation is because I'm still trying to find like a good foundation. Like the Estee Lauder one's decent, but it's expensive and I don't feel like spending that much on it. So now to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to take... Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade Translucent. I would just use the loose powder, but I had this and I figured this is kind of easier for right now, so. And I really like to set my face with powder pretty good before I go to work, because otherwise, like, it does not last very long. And then I shine through my foundation and I just look like a grease ball, so I love powder. And I'm not really one to like touch up my foundation like throughout the day. Like I don't really set it with powder unless it's like really horrible. But I don't know. I'm just like don't like to. My eyebrows need some work. I've been kind of trying to like let them grow out. But I don't know. I think I might just end up tweezing the heck out of them here soon. Because they look bad. Okay. So next I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Because it's drugstore and it's like one of my favorite bronzers. So we're going to use it. I'm just going to do my nose a little bit. It's like I don't really contour my nose to like sculpt it out. I just mostly do it to like put some color back into my or like on my nose. Because I feel like it's like just so blank. Oh, and this is in the shade Deep. Um, I do have the lighter one or like the medium one. But this one kind of just like I can use more of as contouring. So because it's a little bit darker and I just love that it's not super orange maybe on some skin tones it is but on mine it works out pretty well all right so I have quite a few um, drugstore blushes I have the wet n wild pearlescent pink one or the Milani luminoso I think I want to go with the Milani one <coughs> This one has been one of my favorites and I actually really didn't like it the first time I bought it because I thought it was too like shimmery. <laughs> but it's really not too bad. This brush shade sheds really bad. It's the Morphe M105 and it's like the blush run blush brush. Okay. <clears throat> so for highlight, I actually popped my wet n wild highlighters out of the packaging and put them in like a z palette so i'm not positive on which um ones they are so i might have to look it up and then put it in the description for you because i can't remember off the top of my head which shades they are so i'm gonna take the i'm gonna do like a mixture of the two and i don't have a setting spray from drugstore either so i won't be using that Like after I tried the Morphe setting spray, that's like all I use. <laughs> I haven't used these highlighters in forever. It's like after I get new products, I forget to like use like the stuff I had before. And this, these highlighters are really good. Okay, so I'm gonna do on my eyebrows now, and I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild um, retractable brow pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I've used this multiple times. It's just kind of like a nice defining whatever has a spoolie. I'm going to use this and um, a long time ago I got this e.l.f. There's like literally no description on this packaging but it's an e.l.f. like duo brow. It's like a pomade and a powder and it's in the shade light but I'm going to use the pomade. It's kind of like not really my color right now but it's like the only brow product I really have right now so other than my pencil. I feel like the the shade is 
decent it's just like a little too warm for me from what I'm used to using I think but it's really not bad oh my god yeah I need to start tweezing my eyebrows because I can't handle this anymore it just looks so messy people ask me about my eyebrows all the time and like how I make them so shaped and stuff and honestly this is just like my natural eyebrow shape obviously I do create a little bit more of an arch with products and whatnot but I don't wax my eyebrows I only tweeze them and this color is not cute I'm done with this but yeah I don't wax my eyebrows I just tweeze them um, and I found that it's been working best for me. I don't know. I just break out really bad from wax, so I've just tweezed for so long that I just kind of know the shape I want. But I do have a brow tutorial on my channel. It's from like last year. It's not really updated. So if you guys want an updated one, I can definitely do that. I don't think I'm going to carve out my brows today just because they're not looking great anyways and I don't think it's going to help them. So I'm just going to use my NYX brow gel that I, have, I always use. It's the Control Freak one. This is a pretty good dupe to the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So I've used this for quite some time. Oh, got that in my hair. Okay. Next, I would do eyeshadow, but since I don't have any, I'm just going to go in with my butter bronzer, and I'm going to put that in the crease, I guess. Put some color onto my lids. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild blush. Just put a little bit of pink in there. Pop a pink. Actually, hold on. Okay, so have you guys seen Kylie Jenner, um... She does like a pop of pink in her inner corner. What if I tried something like that? I don't know how pigmented these blushes are going to be to do, be able to do that, but let's try it. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to take Luminoso, like a lot of it, and really put it in. This might be a disaster, but... Oh god, okay. I don't like this. Let's just keep going and see what it looks like. I'm going to take a little bit of this one now. I think it has to be like a really vibrant like no this is bad now I look sick but I'm not doing that <clears throat> all right so I just remembered that I had these palettes by elf there's a contour palette and a blush palette I think I've kind of mixed them around because you can like pop them out so they're probably not right but I do have a couple shades I could use for eyeshadow hmm let's try it I'm gonna mix these two shades and just I don't know about this now I'm gonna take my highlighter that I used and just put it on top and see if that kind of like makes it more vibrant Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. But I'm going to keep building up this pink just to make it a little bit more noticeable, I guess. Alright, I guess to like make the look a little bit, I don't know, more glam, I'll take my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I guess do a wing or something. I used to do wings in high school like every day. <laughs> now I ha don't do them very often and it's like I forget how to do them. That kind of like flicked up. This is bad. My struggle is making wings even. <laughs> yeah, what is this line here? This dot. Whatever. I tried to like aim to, to like the outer edge of my eye. Oh, sh That might be okay. The outer edge of my eyebrow, but <sighs> you guys, these are not even at all. Oh, 
what the heck? Like, what is this? I'm gonna like carve it out with my concealer. Hopefully that works. I think my backdrop is like falling on me. What the heck? Sorry, I had to like move my backdrop. It was way too close to me and I was getting like claustrophobic, so. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and try to like maybe carve this out a little bit. It might mess it up completely, but we're gonna try it. Hmm, I don't know. If you guys are interested, I can make a video of how I wash my brushes if that's something you're interested in interested in so I can definitely do that okay I'm just gonna like leave that alone because that's as best as it's getting <laughs> all right so for mascara I'm gonna take my um, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise I also always use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black these two are kind of like my go-to's this one's kind of drying out a little bit so I'm gonna use this one but actually before I do this I I usually like to put my lashes on before mascara, so I am going to do that. <laughs> okay, so like always, I'm going to use my Ardell Demi Wispies. I don't really feel like digging out my um, scissor right now. I'm trimming these, so I might just like deal with how long they are. It might be okay. But probably not. Yeah, we're just going to go with it. So I you always use the Duo Eyelash Adhesive Glue. Looks like this. Pat it for forever. What is this? I put it on the lashes. And then I wait for about like 30 seconds. That's kind of what they recommend. But I just kind of wait until it's tacky. And then I apply it. So yes, I usually do trim my eyelashes to fit my eyes, but right now I don't feel like doing that, so I'm not going to. <laughs> There's like one orange eyelash in here. When I hold it up to the light, it's like they're all black and then there's one orange one. That's really strange. <gasps> Weird. So, okay, so I'm going to put this on now. I try to like put them like, oops, it'll dry clear. I try to put them on like this way instead of like this way, but it's hard. I, I, I really do suck at putting lashes on. I don't do it very often because why would I have to put lashes on when I go to work? Okay, these are definitely going to be way too long. Shit. So I'm going to put lash glue on my other lashes. <laughs> These definitely aren't going to feel very good because they are too long. But I'm not going anywhere today. I'm probably going to take these lashes off after I'm done filming. So I don't really care. I'm going to put these on now. Wow, did I get that the first try? No way. Nope. I knew it. Can you guys see this? Oh, you probably can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna like let my eye close and dry that way. Excuse me. I think I got that one on now. Now I'm gonna take my mascara and kind of like blend the two, like my fake to real or my real to fake, whatever. And I'm going to take my um, eyeliner again and then touch up, like, whatever needs to be touched up. Like, on top of glue and whatnot. Oh, mother f***. Hurry up, get my thing. I might have just messed that up, but it's okay. You guys, I don't really know what my problem is today. I just made my eyeliner, like, super duper thick. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to go with it. Okay. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to take my Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen by Petra in matte nude. I'm going to put this 
under here. Wait, I didn't even put mascara on my bottom lashes and it's already there. So I'm just gonna use this to like open up my eye. I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corner as well. You guys, these eyeliners are bomb. I only have this nude one, but they're so creamy. I definitely recommend them. Oh my eyes, they're so watery right now. They're so mad at me. My nose is dripping. That's great. You guys, I'm sorry this video is like a shit show. <laughs> Just cause I'm like done-ish, I'm gonna take more pink. This is not the right color pink, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now for lips, I'm gonna take my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in All Natural. You guys probably know the drill. I use this like every single video, but it's my favorite. Ouch. This needs to be sharpened. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline lipstick in Almond Rose, which is 565. And it's like this pretty pink, so. Oh, it's really creamy. So I kind of think this is the finished look using all drugstore products. These, all of the ones that I've used, I pretty much like, except for maybe the foundation. Like, it's okay now that it's on and, like, there's powder on it and stuff, but I don't know. It's not my favorite. It doesn't last as long as it claims. It says, that I think it, I think it says it's 24 hour. Yeah. Which, whatever, maybe it's just my skin type that it doesn't really work with, but. So, yeah, I think that that completes the video. Let me know what you thought about this video and if you want to see like a full face with high-end products, that'd be kind of fun. Might be a little bit expensive, but we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, my next video, I'll hopefully have my new microphone and be able to use my new camera, so that'll be fun. I do have a new ring light. I'm not sure if I used it in my last video or not, but... So I'm trying to update all of my stuff and just trying to make sure that I have good content for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked my videos and if you want to see more of me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.